right, everybody, welcome back. This is the Backyard Crawler coming at you again, and I have got another uh, interesting comparison for us today. I think this is gonna be a good one. So I think you recognize this truck here. This is the Traxxas TRX4 Sport. And then obviously we got the full bodied Red Cat Ascent here. So we're gonna take these trucks out on the uh, course. Now I don't, have, I don't think I got any gates set up today, so we're just gonna run them on some similar lines and see how they perform against each other. Um, to try and keep this, you know, um, on a level playing ground, I'm running the Canyon Trail tires on both these vehicles. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with the Canyon Trails. This is a great set of tires that uh, comes on most all of the Atraxxus vehicles, and uh, they, they work very well. So anyway, let's, uh, let's quit talking, and let's get over here and run some lines with these two trucks. Okay, here we go. So we're going to get this started. We're going to see if we can get this TRX4 Sport up the side of Bigfoot Mountain here. Uh, now, as I mentioned, we are getting a side effect from the Hurricane Francine. I think that's the name of it anyway. Just came up from Louisiana. Uh, it's going to be awful noisy out here. You're probably going to see some limbs and debris flying around, but we're going to get out here and rough it out and see if we can get us a decent video. But anyway, let's see if we can get this uh, TRX4 Sport up the side of this hill here. It, this is the stock brush system that comes in the sport, so I might be a little jumpy with it, but I'm going to do my best. I tell you what, you get used to these brushless motors, it's hard to go back to a brush one. Alright, let's see if we can get over this. Not having much luck here. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and call that a fail right there. Let's uh, bring the red cat over and see how it does. Okay, here we are back over here, uh, Bigfoot Mountain. We've got the uh, red cat ascent with us this time. Um, we're going to see how this uh, this truck here will uh, do on its first attempt up the uh, little concrete climb here. I think I made two attempts at it with the TRX4 Sport, and I wasn't successful on either one of them. Uh, but let's see how the Red Cat does right here. So first try, we was able to complete this with the Red Cat. Now, you know, I did hit this with a little bit of momentum, but I certainly did the same thing with the TRX4 Sport also. And, you know, just a little FYI, uh, even though I typically only show a couple of videos of me making attempts with these trucks, uh, usually if, if there's not a, um, you know, a completion of it, I've actually failed several times off camera as well. Um, so I just, you know, just trying to be fair with them. But anyway, let's move on to the next feature. All right, so we'll start this second one out here on Tiki Mountain. This is a, I don't know, a little lesser severity of a climb. Uh, it does have a pretty steep rollover right here on this slab, but uh, both these trucks are running portal axles. Uh, let's see if we can have a little bit better luck getting this TRX4 Sport up to the top here. And wiped out the cat. Rolling this with, oh, trying to roll into that with a little bit of momentum. She was not happy with that. Let's try this again. All right, so let's try this one more time. Okay, second try on Tiki Mountain with a TRX4 Sport. Let's see if I can uh, improve my skills a little bit, get this thing up through here. Uh, 
just not sure if this thing's gonna stay down and make it or not. I'm gonna try it one more time here. All right, one more run here. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna call that a fail with this one right here. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so here we are. We are at Tiki Mountain. Um, now, um, with the uh, TRX Force Ford, I think I made two attempts on camera um, and several off and was not successful at completing this feature right here with the uh, Sport. So let's see what the Red Cat will do here on its first try. And it looks like we're gonna make it right to the top for a photo shoot. All right, first time, no problem for the red cap. Let's move on to the next feature. All right, everybody. So the first two obstacles I wasn't able to complete with the uh, TRX Force Sport. Um, I'll leave it up to y'all to be the judge of whether it's my driving or the truck itself. Uh, but anyway, let's try this third one here. We just got a little uh, concrete poured on the side of the bank right here uh, it is pretty steep and a little bit slick but um we ought to be able to get this truck up this here let's give it a try all right i think we got this one i reckon everybody in the neighborhood has decided to get their mower out and cut during this hurricane i don't know what they're thinking <laughs> Well, we made it with that one, and there's a good picture of our TRX4 Sport. Let's move on to the next picture and see how we do with it. Okay, here we go. On our third feature, we got the uh, the Red Cat over here. Um, now, you know, I think we got the TRX4 Sport right up there, so no problem. So let's see if the uh, Red Cat can give us a um, an equal performance as well. All right, no problem for the red cap. Let's move on. All right, let's see if we can get this old TRX4 Sport up this little fourth climb right here. Uh, I don't think this is anything you've actually seen in my previous videos. I'm trying to hit some different lines so we don't get repetitious on things. But anyway, let's see if this thing will get up through here without too much trouble. Couple little hops here, but I guess we made that successfully. Well, I tell you what, you get spoiled on these newer trucks with brushless motors and the, all the components being a little lower to the ground, and I kind of feel like I'm driving a pulp wood truck here with this thing, just to be honest with you. Bumpers getting hung. <laughs> All right, here we go. I think we finally got it. All right, let's move on to something else with the old sport here. Okay, well, here we go with the Red Cat on the fourth feature. Um, the um, the TRX4 Sport got it this relatively easy. Um, so let's see what the uh, old Red Cat will do here. Hopefully, we'll get the same performance out of it. Um, just to let you know, and I don't think I mentioned it in the opening part of my video, um, but anyway, the, uh, the Red Cat... It's got the uh, the factory 10% overdrive in it that it comes with. I haven't upgraded it to the 20% that you can. Um, but just to let you know, the uh, the TRX4 Sport um, that I am comparing it to does have an overdrive in the front end as well. Um, I do not remember the percentage on it. Um, I put it in there a long time ago. I'll have to go back and probably look it up. But anyway, um, in the event that it does make a difference to you, the, the, the Sport is running. A, an overdrive gear as well of some percentage i'm just not exactly sure what it is okay so we got right up there with no issues let's move on to the next one all right let's see if we can get this old trx4 sport up the side of this dirt bank right here without any trouble let's try something beside some rocks
Oh my goodness. We are just not being successful with this truck today. Let's get a little further over here to the right. Okay, so I don't want to bore you just sitting here trying time and time again to get up something that this thing might make it up, you know, eventually in the next eight or ten tries. So we're going to call that one a fail there, too. Let's move on to something else. Okay, so here we go. We got our little, um, you know, uh, dirt bank challenge right here. Um, I kept getting hung up right here and wasn't able to make it to the top of the sport. Um, now, once again, these trucks are running the same Canyon Trail tire, so let's see how the Red Cat does here. All right, so whatever the difference is, the Red Cat got right on up there. All right, let's move on to our last feature. Okay, everybody, let's give this old TRX4 Sport uh, one last opportunity here to show us what it can do across Block Hill. Um, maybe I need to tune my driving skills in, I don't know. But anyway, let's see if I can do a little better with this truck right here. Alright, I think we got up there pretty good. Let's see if we can roll off this backside and without getting in trouble, I think we got it. Alright, so I think that's what we're gonna call that the last feature right there. This old lazy cat sitting over here watching. <laughs> okay, so here we go on our last little challenge here. We got the old red cat. We're gonna see if we can get across Block Hill. Now, I was able to uh, get the uh, TRX4 Sport um, up the front side and down the back side of that flipping over relatively easy. So let's see how the uh, Red Cat will do. I right, made it to the top. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I have only ever been able to get this red cat off the backside a few times without flipping over. Um, so maybe there there may be a little bit of advantage to the uh, sport as far as uh, descending and the back end going down. We'll see what happens here. So we did make it down there. Um, did take just a little bit of touch of throttle um, to keep a little momentum going, but we did make it down. All right, so let's move on to the table and uh, finish this up. Okay, everybody, that is going to wrap it up this evening for our little comparison between the uh, Red Cat Ascent and the uh, Traxxas TRX4 Sport. Uh, now, as I said in the beginning of the video, both these trucks are running the Canyon Trail tires, which, by the way, is the, the stock tire that comes on the uh, TRX4 Sport, and it's a decent crawler tire also. Um, there is a 10% uh, overdrive in the Ascent, and I do have overdrive in the um, the Sport. I don't remember what the percentage is. It was several years ago when I installed it. Um, I do want to point out, you know, even though the Sport didn't do so well today as far as the, uh, the steeper challenges, um, this is a very tough platform, um, a solid transmission and differentials. I've had this truck for several years, and I've done a lot of trailing and a lot of crawling with it. And I have never torn anything up on this truck as far as drivetrain goes. Um, I will say with the Red Cat, which I've only had a few months, and, you know, it definitely has nowhere near the use that the Sport does. And I have broke both those little pins in the front twice. Um, but anyway, as far as, um, you know, if you're trying to be competitive with your buddies, uh, rock crawling and such, uh, you know, the Red Cat's clearly the choice. Um, as far as, you know, if you're looking for a trail truck and durability, um, you know, the Traxxas may very well be your choice. Uh, but anyway, um, that's going to wrap it up, and I certainly appreciate everybody watching, and we will catch you on the next video. See you later.